Look at how far we've traveled Look at how much we've done Truth is one person can matter Hi everyone, it's Liz Holloway at StampersPlus.com and welcome to my tutorial. Here is how it's made a uh, 3D carriage kit. Uh, this coordinates with our stamp set called Something for Baby. And you can order this stamp set as well as the coordinate, coordinating frameless, just like this. Okay. So what I have done was that I prepared a kit. If you order this kit on my blog, you will receive a the carriage as well as the card. Okay and all the pieces to go together to make that one carriage. So let's get started. So what you'll need is um, all these pieces here. And what I have done was I put uh, my wheels on a Xyron uh, sticky background so that I don't have to worry about gluing it. Now if you don't have any Xyrons, you can actually uh, turn it over on the wrong side, apply liquid glue. So how this goes is that you're going to have the two sides pre-cut out and you're going to make sure that they are the opposite side. So I'm taking my, my wheel and I'm removing the sticky side. And like I said, if you don't have Xyron at home, you can apply liquid glue at the back. For me, just for the sake of the video, I'm going to use that. So here, you're going to carefully lay your wheels down and it's about a quarter of an inch or one eighth of an inch all the way around uh, the shadow layer okay and then just as you lay that down then carefully lay the handlebar down just like so okay press that into place okay and I'm going to continue on with the other side remember it's got it's the opposite side now when I ran through the Xyron um, my handle got caught so there's no sticky side on the handle so I'm going to apply the liquid glue just a small amount on, on the handle okay, and then again carefully lay this down just like so Alright, so what you're going to end up doing now is taking your paper piercer and pierce a hole in each of these wheels and then uh, take your sequence and your silver brad and insert the, the brad into the wheel. What we remember today Go oh, oh, celebrate The difference that we made Thinking back at where we started we okay. And then what I have done was I had pre-embossed all the, uh, the panels here for a baby carriage and all I did was I added dimensionals on the back and then just lay them right onto the baby carriage aligning the straight edge to the opening and repeat on the other side with what each of us has created up the straight edge okay. and then taking your your hood and remember, these have to be the opposite side. So it looks exactly the same, but when you turn it over, just line up the, the two together and then uh, flip one over, okay? And then add dimensionals on the back. So the hood then is lined up. And this also has um, a different um, angle as well. So if you're looking at the deeper curve, then look for the deeper curve on the the main uh, carriage and all you do is you place this on here repeat on the other side okay and add this side here leaving about uh, a quarter inch of a spacing 
take your facet, the vintage facet, and your glue dots. Okay, and then just add glue dot to the back. And then glue dot on the other side. Okay, and then for your box, you're going to pre Pre-score your box as well as tape on the two sides here. Put this aside. And then what I'm doing is I'm just removing the backing, the backing um, protector sheet. Okay. While you're also waiting, you want your hot glue gun to be ready because um, we're going to end up working with the the dowel here which is in your kit. Okay, so make sure your hot glue gun is ready to go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to piece this together really quickly. And then the box. What I my recommendation is that when you have your box you want to make sure that you're lining lining this the box pretty much on center of your carriage, okay? So I'm lining this right out on the carriage. So what I'm going to do is instead of adding tape or glue right on the side panel of the box, I am going to actually put the glue right on the back of the carriage and where my wheel stops right here, about here is the, is where your glue is going to stop. So I'm going to add glue right to the back and then I'm not going as far down as the brads so that's my indicator line to stop. So then what I'm going to do now is flip this over and taking the alignment from the straight edge to the straight edge and if you flip it over you can actually see where it, your box is lining up, okay? And just ensuring that it's right on center. Repeat on the other side. Just enough glue along here. And then eyeball the center. Now, as long as you are centering your box, your two pieces of your carriage should just line up. So if you're looking through the down at the video, you can see that my carriage is actually lined up with the box. Okay, so I'm going to put that aside to let it dry. Okay, for the dowel, then you're going to get yourself the... Uh, the washi tapes um, and uh, and your two inch dowel and basically what you're going to do is take your washi tape add it right onto the the edge here wrap it around tugging it wrap it around and tug it tightly so you're not left with any bubbles okay and then snip that part off And then now if you don't have washi tape, you can use um, silver and um, sharpie pens, okay? And then taking your other side, because there's uh, some opening here, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, the opposite end, and wrapping it around. give it a, a good press on your dowel. Okay, so then taking your, your 3D carriage, apply hot glue right on the ends of your dowel. Careful not to burn yourself. So just a small dollop on each end. Okay. 
then starting on one end, hold that into place and press the other side. Hold that into place until the hot glue sets. And there you have it, a 3D carriage. Now that I'm not going to go ahead and explain the uh, the card, it's self-explanatory. Uh, basically I took the carriage stamp and embossed it with uh, silver foil and then cut it out with the with the um, the coordinating carriage on this set on the framelits um, and I embossed it with the fancy um, fan and and uh, and then attached it onto a silver mat so here you go there's the 3x3 three three envelope and there's still room for like a little onesie a bib or even a little booties for someone who's um, having a baby. I so hope you enjoy this tutorial and I'll talk to you soon later.